All right, next I'm gonna get in here and show you how you can make your own favorites list. Now you can make a favorites list for every menu system that's on here. So uh, if we're in Sega Genesis, you can make your own favorites list there. If you're in the arcade list here, we can make our favorites list here. And I'll also show you how to sort by genre so we can narrow it down by fighting games, shooting games, that kind of thing. Make it a little bit easier to find what you're looking for and also find games that you didn't even know existed that are in that same type. You know, if you're looking for bowling games and we're playing uh, Neo Geo League Bowling and you want to switch to, you know, find another bowling game that might be the same or, you know, same type of gameplay, you can find it that way as well. So as I'm scrolling through here, I'm just going to find something that I want to put in my favorites list. Uh, let's just go with Mysterious Stones, I guess. I don't even know what this game is, but just goes to show that you can make a favorites list with anything. Uh, if you like this game, you're just going to highlight it here. You're going to hit the number six button, and it's going to come up with our little favorites list here. And you can say add to favorites, push the one player start button, and it's going to put it in there. You can also, you can see it now changed to remove from favorites, so I can take it out of there again. I'm going to put it back in there just to show you, uh, you know, with it in the favorites list. So then I'm going to exit back out. There's a little button underneath here on the two player machines. Uh, with the four player machines, you'll hold down one player start and push two player start to take you back out. Uh, so I'm going to hit the escape button here, and now I'm going to hit number six again, and I want to view my favorite games. Now when I view my favorite games, there's only going to be one game in here, Mysterious Stone. So now my whole list, no matter if I scroll up or down, left or right, it's only one game. But as obviously as you add more games here, you'll build and build and build on this list. So now if I hit the number six button again, I can remove it from this favorites list, and go back in, and exit back out, and go back to my menu. Now here's the main wheel again, if I go back into my arcade games, I'll show you here how to uh, set up genres. So you can see, uh, you know, just narrow the list down. So if I hit the number five button on the control panel, and this will work on the, the right side as well, hit the number five button, you'll see that it'll come with up with our nice genre list here for all the arcade games. And you can see right now it's on all games, but I can search by wrestling, trackball games, track and field, tennis type games, sports types games, spinner games that use a spinner, shooter games, um, you know, Mahjong stuff if you're into that. Uh, hockey type games, I mean everything. We've got it all fighting type games. So if I want to choose fighting type games, I'm going to hit, I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to hit the one player start. Now it's just going to give me a list of all the fighting games on here, which are actually quite a few. So it's still a pretty big list, but it really narrows it down so you can just go through the fighting type games. We've got everything from Battletoads to Mortal Kombat, Bloodstorm, um, Bloody Roar 2. Let me keep scrolling here just to give you some ideas. Brute Force. So then if I want to exit back out of here and just see all the, the all games, you know, go back to the normal main list, I'm just going to hit the number five button again, and I'm going to go back to where it says all games. Select that there with the one player start, and we're back into the whole games list again. So I hope this has been a good review for you. Uh, I think it really shows off what our menu can do. There's a lot of other neat things, but I think this is a good start, and I hope you enjoy it. Enjoy your machine, and if you are thinking about placing an order, we sure hope you do. We can build any kind of custom machine you can imagine. And I hope if you take a look at our gallery of videos, check out our website, www.dreamhomearcades.com, you'll see a lot of different machines there, and we're always adding more. Uh, every machine is custom made here, and it takes right now about four to five weeks to build a custom machine. So check out this video. I hope you enjoy it, and we'll uh, see you soon.